and frogs. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Nord in the rags. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. If you say yes, then I actually, it's pretty much the whole story of how we met, and my, pretty much my opinions about you, and, and why I made you my closest friend instead of Dragon Lady. We'll There's a lot of, this video is probably going to, this live stream is probably going to be really long, Due to like we're the power, only ones who made because it. of all the days in years and months that thing was a dragon. of friendship. No doubt. Just like the things. children's stories and the legends. Okay, guys, just, okay, just so shut up times. and cut off the binding so We'd I can talk. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Okay, you better get them off. Before we can headbutt you. There you go. You may as well take Gunyar's gear. He won't be needed at any Okay. Since he's shutting up now. Okay. All right. Get that armor on. And get that axe okay. a few swings. I'm going to see if I can find some way Pretty out. much. Okay, I'm just gonna get ah, to the stories. And see about that game. Okay, so how me and T J met was just an ordinary day, and I was with Dragon Lady. I recently have met oh, her, and I don't know where I, I forgot where I met her. I, end up, I think I met on a battle on Minecraft. On, on, I ended up from well, being on Dragon Age with the only two on whole Minecraft world. Some people started to join, and all of a sudden I see this name. T Shay has joined the game. And I was like, huh, that's an unusual name. And she didn't say anything as soon as she got in. I was like, okay, she mustn't. She must be one of the people that wouldn't talk until everyone else starts to talk a lot. And all of a sudden she started to talk, and I was like, oh my freaking god. And she was using voice changer at first. And she sounded, what? and I told her this too. I, t I freaking told her this. I s this is exactly what I told her. I said, oh my gosh, she sounded like one of my little pony characters. And she freaking did. Just to be honest, she did. Do not ask how I know. No, I'm fine, I'll just say it anyway. I used to be a pony. I used to, but I don't, uh, but I didn't watch it, watch the show anymore. But, ever, but after that, but I just kept on freaking laughing. After that, she said something. And, and she kept on saying, shut up, stop laughing. I couldn't freaking help it, I just found it so freaking funny. I couldn't help but freaking laugh. And at that time, it was on PS3, which is one of the oldest consoles, but still actually a pretty good console, if you think about it. 
PS3 and PS4 are two really good consoles to have, actually. And on PS3, my account name was, it was pretty obvious, Dark Nitro 69 And everyone just called me Dark for short. It's pretty obvious, T-Shay says it all the time. And, um, Dragon and he was like, Dark, stop. Done. I was like, Let's okay, fine, I'll try. Because Dragon ID is a lot older than me and T. Oh, and then... Oh, over here. And after I stopped laughing, I was still... I still had like a little laughs here and there. But after a while, everyone was starting to get off. And it was just me and t -Shay, And I asked her if she wanted to come to my, my Minecraft world, because I needed help doing something. And so she did, you know, too nice to say no, kind of stuff. No, I haven't seen. And because she still had the voice changer on, I was like, "Can you turn the voice changer yeah. off?" And she said, "No, I don't like my voice." I was like, "Has anyone else heard your voice?" She said, "No." I was like, "Then how do you know if anybody else would like it?" And she said, "You promise you won't laugh?" I was like, "I'm not gonna laugh." I and I said, "I, was, I added, I may be mean and I, and strict." But he it's just like met me. He do not know how I'm gonna react, so just do it. So she finally uh, did, because she didn't want to argue with me. With some... And she started Might talking. Need that gold and, once we get out. and I did not know whether she had voice changer on or off when she actually, she actually turned it off, and she still almost sounded like the voice changer. And I was like, did you turn it off? And she said yes. Yeah. Like, oh, because you still sound like when you would, had the voice changer on. And it, and it was freaking just funny. She hoped that I did not laugh or judge her. In fact, she said, You didn't laugh. I was like, No. And I also told her, I'm, I don't care what you, what you sound like as long as I have another friend. Then I ended up telling her. Well, I, I ended up telling her about my mom passing. And that's just, you know, this was like three years ago when I met her. And, uh, so it was long before my uncle passed. And we got done with it. We cut down with the building. And she made me mad and purposely. Put like freaking rainbow colored blocks all over the side of the walls. Like broke the parts parts of the walls and literally we placed those blocks with pink, pink, blue, red, white, and black. I was like, okay. I was like, DJ. She said, what? I, was like, I see what you freaking did. She like, what did I do? I was like, change the side of the walls. I said, that wasn't me, that was you. Really, I would remember it if I done that. She said, okay, fine, I'll change it back. And she did. And after about two hours of building another house, she ended up, we, me and her ended up go doing the, our first role play. Just me and her, we didn't have none of the other characters. And it was really real, actually. It was still pretty darn weird. I, I just can't say the words I felt still. It was still pretty weird to actually be with the first, pretty much not the first girl, but the first girl of my age. At least my age or somewhere around my age. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. And, um, we kept on playing and playing. And something surprised me. She didn't have to get off early. She pretty much like this was on like a break. Like I think it was a snow break or something. I don't, I don't know. Or I think it was summer. I forgot. And we ended up staying up most of the night just playing Minecraft and stuff. We told 
told each other a lot about each other. And after that day we became closer friends and Dragon Lady started to be with us a lot more. And I asked how we've been doing and I said we've been doing good and we did survival stuff. And in fact Dragon Lady was actually part of our role plays as well. But let's fast forward to 2014 or so. Wait. Wait! No, we have to meet in like 2013. Yeah, it was 2013 when we met. Let's first let's go all the way. To, no, let's go to 2015. No, wait, no, no. Now, there was nothing really interesting much besides just like random crap that we did and little random arguments. Let's. No, no, we're not skipping. Because we just missed out a whole bunch of stuff. Well, on one year, which I don't know which one it was, but. I started to ignore Dragon Lady a little bit more. Like, I know it sounds rude, but I started to actually not pay much attention to her and not talk to her as much. I've been mostly focused on t shirt for some reason. Because she was actually the only girl that was at least my age. And knew what I meant about a lot of stuff. Even though she was a little late to get in my jokes. But otherwise, hearing her reactions are so freaking funny. And, um. Some bad things happened. The, throughout. She never came to me and said anything bad. That happened in her life. She never did. And. I, I ended up telling her that I was having a bad day. And. Literally, she tried her best just to make me laugh. But there was only one thing that she did was to make me laugh. She brought in a new character. And the first new ever character that ended up staying with us for the rest of our lives. It was Cheese Head. She, Cheese Head was in fact the first character that was brought. And I never laughed so hard that I literally freaking cried. And I told her, okay, I'm happy now. And when she turned back to her ugly skin, I, I, at that time I did not have no ca new character. Everything was good. And Dragon Lady wasn't even in the, with us because she was off flying doing something. Probably was busy. And in that same day, me and her was, me and Tisha was also doing something that we thought we would never do. We, in fact, me and her were doing an experiment on something. We had pistons, redstone, and TNT, and a couple of other things, which I forgot what they were. And since TC knows and uses redstone better than I do, I'm starting to get a little better. By the time I was terrible at it, which I only could put out like a piston, one redstone, and one level, and that was all that I could do. And she did shit, literally freaking made like a timer and once that then once once she started the level all this redstone and all these pistons on these redstone blocks were activated everything was moving around and in the pistons the last, pi in the last piston stretched out the TNT ended up Going into water, and when it blew up, it sparked other TNT and flew out of the water, and it ended up going into our target. And it was freaking amazing. The Tisha knew what she was doing, but over time she forgot how to. She was she became less advanced with 
redstone. Like every day and every night, we were always together in games. So one day I was playing Call of Duty and she was trying to join but she couldn't. I was like, okay, I'll get back on Minecraft. And she said, okay. And once I get back on, she was a little upset about something. So I asked her and she said that she stepped her toe on, on a sharp object. I was like, what was, what was it on? And she said, set the corner off, corner off my table. I was like, what is it now, Good mother? job. Do you need a band-aid? And she said, no. I was like, stop complaining. And she was like, wow. I was like, wow what? Tell me to suck it up. I was like, you do. Rule one of being a tough person. Stop letting pain take over. And pretty much I was old. I've been her teacher pretty much. And there was one thing I'll never forget. And this was on. This was actually where I lived. Was pretty much like it was like midday or something, and it was kind of dark out due to cloudiness. And she was upset. And I have told you guys a story about what happened recently. That I killed somebody and she blew everything up. And this was like. A year after that, that one side I just told you about, and um, I talked to Tom, and I seriously almost cried mid sentence. I'm all because I have this thing about me that I can actually f feel the emotions people are feeling. Don't give them seen them or not. I can even just listen to them and I get their get their emotions. Yeah, down the trainer. And after about like an hour of talking to her, in another hour of making her laugh, and I'm like almost making her wet her pants, and how I know that is because she told me. After she came back from the bathroom, she said, she said this exactly. Dog, you almost make her wet my pants. Was, and I, my reply was, me, my response was, good. There was seriously, the, but the silent pause was like at least 15 seconds. And I was just looking intensely at her. You know, she didn't know, but in real life, I was just looking intensely at her. And that's when I said, good. And we did have our arguments again and again, but I usually won. Uh, and it was Minecraft. You could easily win an argument. When how you know, me and her always in creative. My one trick, when me and her argue, is like, T, do you want me to kick you from the server? She's like, no. She's like, then be quiet. And she would stop, cause she's usually the one that freaking starts it. And and then she said, sorry that. That she was just trying to be right for once. And there were times where I let her be right. There were times she was right. The well, majority of the time, Two. but Adjust the majority the of the time, I won. And let's just say, um, I got the whole internet problem. Crap. But after a while, of course, her internet. No, wait. There was something wrong. Wait. I'm trying to think of more stuff of why I chose t shirt over Dragon AD. Okay, and, um, and to me, here now, here's some of my thoughts of why, if I get into any more other story type things. Okay, so, so for the other stories, the other stories are pretty much said. The times we argued was actually the times I wish me and t shirt were not friends. Seriously, there were times I wanted to delete her and not talk to her ever again, and this was all freaking true. But you sh I just controlled my anger because I didn't want to push it all on her, and so I just kept my calm. 
and you should just let out. And all the times I've actually yelled at Tisha, it was not even me fully mad. It was just, ha. It was like, like, full 5% angle. And, and, but otherwise, she was still a good person. And my good thoughts about her was, uh, she was more energetic, more happy, and wanted to actually play games with me. In fact, she would honestly freaking wait until I got on. Alright, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Nice try. I'm not going to ask again. Then I guess that's your last request, fool. Put on the killer spell, so I'm not gonna Boy. Don't freaking mess with somebody. Trust yourself twice your size. Okay, anyway. And, um. She. Sissy. That's how patient she was. She would honestly wait for an hour for me to actually get online. Because she told me that she got on. Got on and she literally waited an hour just for me to get on. And she said that she would literally was watching a couple of videos that turned off her phone or whatever she was watching it on. Watching YouTube on. Hold on. Okay. Little bulbs. And anyway. And I told her, How are you so patient? And she, I don't know. And me and her got been close friends ever since. That's why I started to trust her even more, and she trusted me way more than she should have. But otherwise, I kept all of her secrets, and I still do, even though I forgot the majority of them. But I still kept all of her secrets no matter what. I've never once stabbed her in the back. Even if I was to talk about her, it would be nice things. I would say a lot of nice stuff about her. Nope. Giant. And I'm just gonna get out of that fight. Screw it. And um, there was a... I forgot what I was gonna say now. <laughs> okay. So, I thought she waited an hour and me you not know, start talking about that. We start to get back to building crap and doing little role plays and stupid stuff. And I ended up asking her something. I asked her this: "What is your favorite animal?" And it not it wasn't even one second. It was like half a second. She said, "Wolves." I was like, "Okay, can I figure it since I read your." thing about your profile and read about me. Wolves anime. Wolves and anime. And there was this one time where I got mad at her for not coming getting online with her internet problems. Not that she was just saying that stuff. And I ended up saying, get on you wolf fun be and me she got freaking upset with me. I mean, who freaking argued and haven't talked for a full one whole day. And we started talking again. I told her I was sorry. And she said sorry to me as again. Not again. She said sorry to me as well. And she ended up getting on and said that there were times where her internet screws up and other times it would not screw up. And she had a actual. She actually had a. Not the YouTube channel, which I think it was the Coast Pony. Yeah, it was the Coast Pony. It's like, she actually did. Like, the Coast Wolfie, I've just seen the chat. That is actually a host. That is actually not her first YouTube channel. That's her second one. Her first one was the Coast Pony, which is all spaces. And she had a lot of stuff in there that I freaking watched. And ever since she made her last video on that, before deleting everything, I was I was upset and mad at her. I didn't want her to, to delete it. I wanted her to keep it. 
she could like I was like in my head to myself I was like why should she delete everything she could have just left everything so just in case if she wanted to go back to it but nope not never again did I ever see her post anything or do anything with that channel and I was still a little upset but I never bought nothing to her I never said anything to her about it One small time, there were more times when I came out, and there was a time in that there was a point that I ended up just starting to lose my trust in her. I started to lose my trust, and I started to actually lose my head and lose my mind. That I haven't heard her voice in so long. But now, since she has this, the, this new channel, she has a video that has her voice in it, and I go back every once in a while and watch it, just hear her voice again. And, but, you but her voice, <laughs> but her voice is that one voice that you don't want to forget, but at the same time, you just want to hear her over and over again. And that's exactly how I was. Channel my iPad. In fact, I in none of my videos have actually ever talked. In some of my videos, I have never talked, and it was hard for me to not to. It was hard for me not to talk, but it was easy for me to make certain noises to show my emotions. In fact, I actually did make a video and put it, post it on YouTube of what I looked like, but after that, after about like a minute, I automatically deleted it because I had no views and I asked Tisha if she saw anything, to find any video from me. She said, yeah, she said, yeah, I, saw notif I got a notification from you, but I was already watching another video and I was going to watch it after it. I said, well, I deleted it. She said, ask me why, I said, because it showed my real face and I did, didn't want myself to be shown. And st still to this day, I have never once shown my true self to her. But I know what she looks like. And I've been, and honestly, I tried to actually make a webcam. I actually tried to put turn on a webcam, that didn't want to turn on. Even if I was to do a webcam, I would have something, not really fully covering my face, but I would have a bandana on. But. I'm not doing it, cause I'm not even gonna worry about doing a webcam, cause I do not want to set up a whole bunch of crap. So just leaving it with the, with without seeing my reactions to things. Even though some, even though I, even though I don't react a lot, it's cause nothing usually scares me that much. And there was a, th and some of you may know that in one of my arc of survival things, me and Kaden were on a low level, and a stalker was coming after us, and some of you might have told me I reacted late, it's cause I have this thing about me that, when it comes to certain situations, I have to see what's fully going on, even though I reacted really late, not really late, but acted a little late, I had to process what was going on, after I saw the stalker, okay the stalker was from that walked to me, and it was coming fast actually, because I went, by the time I turned, I was right there, and I was like, Ugh! just freaking took off. Because I had to process what was going on. Like, that did scare me a little bit, seeing a big, huge alligator coming after me. It was great, and some of you may not know, I don't know if I told you, told anybody this, but, and, uh, my Tisha's role place, since she was the wolf, I was pretty much a sheep-shifting demon, and Tisha was actually a sheep-shifting wolf, she had more than just, just a human form and a wolf form, same with me, 
but she always stayed on her world phone. That, like, she was so clueless in the world place when she wasn't supposed to be in world, and all times where she actually wasn't supposed to be in world form, she would still be in it. And I would stop it and tell her, and mm -hmm. she'd say, oh, it's like, T, you gotta remember this. So, sorry, and after times we got done with it. It was so fun to be around all. Well, but there was one moment without. Uh, and that's where my sadness really kicked in. Right uh, uh, there before my uncle. And. And I started it. So obviously, she start, actually, she started this first. Thought I heard something. She ended up starting the whole song thing about the um she was the one that made me start actually playing songs that if most of you may have actually follow my my documentary 69 vlogs and gaming channel some of you may have seen the playlists it's titled songs teaching might sing to me and the playlist songs I might sing to Tisha. Those were all the songs I could see me and her singing to each other. But for me, it's something I would, I definitely would sing. My own, this that says pretty much my emotion, my emotions. Yeah, yeah. In fact, okay. Just a quick pause. Me, many of you. May have known the color of my the two colors of my YouTube channel, black and red. The main reason why the colors are black and red is because of my Minecraft skin. It's not really mine; it's more like more Jinx. But the one where with the guys wearing the red short, red hair, and the red mask. That's pretty much the skin that I'm always in, besides old Dougie. And that and that's pretty much my OC. We'll change it up a bit and have no, like, it, like brown pants and black hair. Yeah, that's my pretty much my OC. Even though you guys don't see it in the channel, it's just a black and white snake. Or usually it's just the picture that you see up now on the top right under on air. But, oh well, there's gonna be two different things. Don't worry about those. But, but otherwise, uh, that's my new seat. And... Otherwise... I, ever since this skin came out, it was good. I liked it. Now ain't this a surprise? And... The most... That thought a bit... Do pretty much... In 2016, 17, and 18... Being on it without T shirt. And this was all. Okay, okay, just give. I'll just say why I did choose T shirt more than Dragon 80. It's because I pretty much don't talk to Dragon 80 no more. Not because I don't like her. Just because I don't. It's mostly. It's just actually because. In fact. We don't talk to each other, not because we don't like each other, obviously. Just because I don't know when she gets on or gets off. She's usually not off anyway. I mean, not on anyway. And I just never really start to actually talk to her. Even if I did talk to her, it just been song quotes. I don't know why. And after that, I mean, just stop talking and, you know, that's really in common. Plus, T Shay, she's the one. Even though Dragon Lady probably doesn't know about this, but still, doesn't know about this channel. But, I'm pretty sure I told her. But, um, T Shay is the one that understands me more than Dragon Lady does. Even though Dragon Lady lived longer than me, T. What's that? Me and T are at the, are at the same age. Same age, actually, know what. 
but you try to go and will actually understand things. She pretty much ain't know how to each other's backs. But I had to hold back way more. You won't get the best of me! <laughs> Think you're bleeding! <laughs> There's something I there's a there's some things I want to describe but I don't know how to describe describe how I'm feeling at the moment. Like I have no idea what exact day or month me and TJ met. But I don't wanna focus on that. But to me and T we are those well, we are those two that if you come across don't be afraid to talk to us. Don't be afraid to do anything. Don't be honestly do not be afraid to to actually play games with us. We are not what we say and how you hear me how you hear me in most of my videos it's not actually me behind off the camera. I, on camera, I might I mean on camera. In, in streams, I might sound all happy and everything. But once the streams are off, I just turn to dep uh, depressed. I just turn. I just turn really depressed. And <laughs> Just even ask Tisha, she knows how strict I am without a camera on. When there's a camera on, she knows I'm all happy. Or when there's a camera off, I'm all upset. It's cause I'm not trying to bring the, the, the videos down to depressed things or nothing. I'm just trying to keep them upbeat. But some of my, some of my videos, I actually kind of upsetting but I'm not trying to make that a goal of my channel but and now wait is October where Halloween is? is it November? no no September wait T is October is October that's it's Halloween in October because I have forgotten, because I did not look at the calendar. So I, I did not look at the calendar at all. If it freaking is, then on, then on October, all of October, I'm gonna try to try to get a ho some ho at least the one ho game. Have been growing. must have the richest soil in the hold. Maybe we should start selling the soil along with the dung. We could make a tidy profit. Who in their right mind would pay for dirt? You'd get laughed out of White Run for even trying it. Hey, people pay money for stranger things. Take our cow dung. We sell that by the wagon load. When you're rich, you can waste as much money as you like on far-fetched business ideas. In the meantime, there's a farm to run. The last time I was in White Run, the tradesmen were talking about you. It seems your reputation as a businessman is growing. Glad to hear all my hard work has paid off. And it was. Because, um, if it is, then I would try to do some Halloween specials. Like, I would do any special. Like, I would do stuff on holidays, birthdays, and whatnot. Even though I don't really count as birthdays, don't count birthdays, but I would try to. Like, on my, on my family birthdays, I probably won't be home majority of the time. So my family birthdays we go out to eat and leave the house. And um usually we go to Colton's. The place is actually freaking good. Or El Himador's and El Himador's is freaking good as well. They give you so much freaking food at El Himador's. Anyway. Back to, to me and T. 
was actually that person that I know that okay okay I hope you'll come back soon I hope you come back soon and we'll stop watching again anyway do you have a good day I hope you come back soon now Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. One person that I knew I can trust. And I've always and she could always trust me. We kept each other's secrets. And I hope to actually meet her in person. I honestly hope I can meet her in person someday. Oh, if we could actually meet I'll be really freaking happy. I could be one of those people that if you were to... Like if I was to meet somebody that I really cared about... Then I would honestly be freaking happy to actually meet on person so she would see what I would look like. But... Pretty much everything I said... All the stories are pretty much the reason why I chose T-Shape more than Dragon Lady. It's because she was always with me, and she never once really doubted me. The only times that she did was when I, she knew I was wrong, and I knew I was wrong. But I mostly did it just to see if she actually knew. Tisha is actually somebody that I would honestly freaking love to meet person. No more, no less. things that we did together we should do friendship things but there was only but those ones for me and her haven't talked for a while when she had on that that was when she was going through tough times even now today we still barely talk besides when we do when I do live streams and she comes in and starts talking to me. Like, I you guys may have noticed that when those that I usually don't talk unless a friend is with me, the poly chat, or there's somebody in that's watching. Then I will start talking if they start talking to me. It's usually just I try to think about something to talk about. I try to go deep into it and hoping to spend a lot of time on that subject, but at the same time I don't want to. That's why you hear me cut don't that's why you hear me talk very less about I don't talk talk like a long time about political stuff and talk bad things about YouTube. Cause I always shorten it. I always say a couple of okay. things. I always say a couple of my thoughts about them but but otherwise I am one of those people that you can actually enjoy being around and if you don't think I'm the kind of person that you would like to be around, then I understand that I'm not going to change you for it. Because that's why, because that's you. You don't have to like me. You don't have to watch me. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to do nothing with me. But see, but at least hear what I have to say first. May your own. What I say is what people judge me for. 
and I don't blame anybody. Everyone judges each other for what we have to say. Look with YouTube. I mean YouTubers. I might say YouTubers, honestly. Look with YouTubers. You watch them to hear what they have to say in some of their videos. And after a while, you're like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to hear anymore. Because that's me. I watch certain videos. And I hear, well, I listen to some of the things that they have to say. And I speed up through the video to hear more of what they have to say. And usually, I don't like the video. Even if it's a YouTuber I like. For example, like, um, Jacksepticeye. There were some videos that he did where he was talk just talking. And I did not like some of the stuff he said. Not because it offended me or nothing. It's because I just didn't... I just didn't really want to hear and listen to it, so I just stopped watching the video. And, um, just like how I was with Tisha, I would always hear, want to hear what she has to say for a couple of worlds, and after, like, I'm done listening to her. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks well, to I mean, you. I came and well, hit the giant once. No thanks to you. Shut up. Anyway, I usually stop when I'm done. Hear what she has to say, and she usually lets me say my mind. But usually, she doesn't stop me from accidentally offending her. And I tell her, "No, why didn't you stop me?" Then she always replies, "Cause I wanted you to, cause I wanted you to say your mind." Like, girl, stop me if I'm offending you. Never once did that get to her head. But I can't get mad. I let people speak their minds about me. And that's what kind of person Tisha is. She's too nice to say no. She will let anybody speak their minds about her, whether it's good or bad. And I'm not following them because I know where he goes. I might not follow him. I try to know where it goes, so I might not follow up. I don't know if I should, but I'm not following it. It's so freaking tempting. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. They'll be ready. No, okay, I'm done. Anyway. He's... Oh, pretty much not always real, but... He's one of those people... That would stay the way she is for a while. Not that I don't like her being herself. That's what makes me happy, is her being herself. I have a feeling she just doesn't like my attitude much. But otherwise... I yell at her, be mean to her, not because I don't like her, it's because, not because of anger either, a little bit, and sometimes she lights the fuse and ends up pulling it out, it's because, it's not really because of her, I do it just because to make her tough, I'm trying to make her tougher than she already is, I'm trying to make her to say no a lot more. It seems like no is her hardest word to say. It seems like she has a hard problem saying no when it comes to, some, to certain things. He's just one of those people that if you're to me Try not to say yes or no question. Just leave the yes or no questions alone with her. Cause she's just gonna end up making you mad a little bit. But there are times where she would definitely say no to some people and about them. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? Kill you, that's what I'm gonna do. And, um... 
there was still a lot more I could say about T, but I don't remember all of them, and there's still worlds that I don't know what to say about them. But I picked, I chose T shades because she. God, dang it, what's the fit? Because she's more. Just gonna say, cause she. Dang it! What's the freaking world? I, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to think of the worlds to freaking say. Just gonna just to say, she's there for me, and I'm there for her. Tisha respects me. I am, says Dragon Lady, but Tisha doesn't own and I respect them both. But Tisha is always there. She's always in the streams. She doesn't ignore me. She doesn't ignore everything I do. She acknowledges everything. She cares about me, even though I sometimes be mean to her. But Dragon Lady. She get she gets upset. Now, I'm not saying that bad, but I have a whole different bunch of votes to why I chose T-shirt to be my closest friend. It's because she's pretty much always by my side a lot. She never leaves me alone. She cares too much about me to actually hate what I do. sound greedy might sound yeah might sound greedy a lot but it depends on what it is I'm greedy about and I'm not patient say about all but it'll take way too long possibly take all day which I'm not taking the risk of doing one 
because otherwise I don't know. Because I don't even bought a lot of stuff. But the, that the hell you know why I choose to show you. say to actually close this video off to go to possibly get on box survival or some other game to live stream like if the live streams up I'll go find another game to live stream and I will still I will move but at the time at the at the end of the song I would turn off the live stream and go find something else to play. No, hold on. I'm going to turn on the volume. all the way up to Oh, <laughs> 